everyone. So I am finishing up my first year of dental school. I know, super duper crazy. I can't believe it. It has already been a year and it went by really, really fast. So today I'm going to make a video about some tips that I've come up with for surviving your first year of dental school since you'll be watching this when I'm done with my first year of dental school. Tip number one, use Microsoft OneNote for taking your notes. It's so helpful. You can have different notebooks on there and you can take all your notes for all your classes on your computer. You can download your PDFs onto the app and you can also record the lectures from Microsoft OneNote. At first, when I started first year, I was taking written notes, but usually in the lecture halls, the lights are turned down so you can see the lecture slides better. So I started taking notes on my computer, especially because I wasn't writing fast enough. Tip number two is don't use too much PBS Putty when you get to SimLab. So PBS Putty is this purple and white putty. It's like Play-Doh and it's very, very expensive and you basically use it to make a mold. So you'll be using it when you get to SimLab. Don't use too much of it. You only need very little or else you'll have to buy more like I did. Tip number three is to buy floss picks. When you're in SimLab, you'll be putting on a rubber dam. It's gonna be hard at first, but if you have floss picks, it's way easier. Tip number four is to get locker shelves for your locker and to also get desk organizers for your desk. If you're organized, it's gonna make everything way easier to find. I didn't get little shelves until a couple weeks later. I thought I didn't need them. I didn't wanna spend money on them, so I just didn't get them. But I'll show you what I got. So I got these little thingies for my little desk locker. You have like a garage door locker type of things. So I put some of my instruments in here. So tip number five is to ask a second year so you can have them help you organize your locker. Just ask them if you'll need certain things for first year or when you're gonna be using it during the trimester because there'll be some things that you won't need until second trimester or third trimester. Tip number six is more of a tip if you go to USC or if you're drawing teeth in dental school. Ask your benchmate if him or her will let you have your their old drawing pencils for your drawing class or purchase some for yourself because in first year of dental school you'll be taking if you go to USC, you'll be taking Monier's morphology class and you'll be drawing teeth. So it's going to be helpful if you have uh, special sketching pencils and if you have a great eraser. So tip number seven, when you're equilibrating your typodont, don't grind down all of the teeth. If there is just one tooth that is low, you can add adhesive, which is this liquid thing, to the bottom of it and then light cure it and that will raise up the tooth instead of grinding down all of the teeth. Tip number eight, when you're learning morphology, you can get this app on your phone called Bone Box to help you learn the anatomy of teeth. I used it for morphology and when I was drawing teeth and you can zoom into the teeth and look at different teeth on this app and I thought it was very helpful and it's free. It's called Bone Box. Tip number nine, use Armando and Osmosis videos on YouTube when studying. So if you haven't watched their YouTube videos before, go watch them because they're very helpful, they're really good. I watch all their videos when I study and that's basically how I've been studying this year. Okay, tip number 10, ask everyone how they study. Try to find as many resources as you can, but then ultimately study the way that works best for you because everyone has a way that works best for them. So tip number 11, bake it until you make it. When giving an oral presentation, use this as your motto. Because if you're nervous and they can see that you're nervous, it's not gonna go well. Use this motto when you're doing your clinical exams as well. I took my first clinical exam, well not my first, but my first clinical exam for perio, and it didn't go well. My professor definitely knew it wasn't going well because I had some tears rolling down my face, but this time I was like, okay, it's gonna go perfectly, it's gonna go well. If it's not going well, I'm still gonna think it's gonna go well, and it went fantastic. Tip number 12. So before you have a clinical exam and before you have a time practical exam in Sim Clinic, close your eyes and visualize yourself doing the procedure. I know this sounds really, really weird, but it works. Tip number 13, remind yourself that everything's gonna be okay and if worse comes to worse and you don't pass a test or something like that, there's always going to be remediation. 
so you're still going to graduate as a dentist. Tip number 14, take advantage of lunch and learns. Free lunch, save some money and learn something cool. Tip number 15, drink coffee to stay awake. Oh, make it at home as well if you want to save money. Tip number 16 is for when you're doing wax ups. Take your wax up projects home and wax up at home while listening to nice music or to a nice podcast. You won't have the luxury of taking projects home later on, so do it while you can. Of course, you probably won't be able to take wax ups home if you're using a Bunsen burner, but if you have an electric waxer like we do at USC, then you can definitely take that home and just plug it into the wall. If not, and you want to take your wax ups home and get an electric waxer, I guess that's a good idea as well. But I personally wouldn't spend money on that. I would just do it at school. Tip number 17. If you have a bike and if you ride your bike to school, lock it with a U-lock lock so it doesn't get stolen. Like mine did. All right, tip number 18. Invest in AirPods. They're very helpful for dental school because they don't have a cord and when you're in sim clinic or sim lab and you have your loop light on with like when you have your loops on with the light string and then your battery pack and then like your ID card and you have everything on your bench and then you have to go to the wet lab to do something, you won't have to be worrying about another cord like making you fall down or anything like that. Tip number 19, take advantage of all the free things that you get when you pay for tuition. Some of the things include free Lyft rides after 7 p.m., free HBO Go, free Microsoft Office, free gym membership. Oh, and also with your student ID card, you're most likely going to get discounts if you show your student ID and just swipe and get the tax off. So save some money, show your student ID, take advantage of all the free things that you're actually paying for by paying tuition. And for the last tip, tip number 20, take dental school seriously. One day you're going to be doing these procedures on your patients and if they ask you questions, you should be knowledgeable, you should know what you're doing. Learn as much as you can, take it all in, but also enjoy your time here because it goes really fast. I can't believe I, I'm finishing up my first year. Thank you for watching my vlogs for my first year. Stay tuned for some more vlogs from second year. I will be studying for my national board exams this upcoming fall trimester while doing classes in school, so it's going to be a little rough, but I will try to upload some videos, but if I don't upload as frequently, you guys know why, it's because I'm studying for board exams. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found these tips helpful. See you guys next time, bye.